So today I'm testing a 1997 Ford F-250 instrument cluster. Really what I'm trying to check is the odometer and the speedometer. So I'm going to do that using the Pico scope and the Go Diag box to power it up. And I was able to figure out what wires need to go where. Basically, constant power, ignition power, ground. And those two gray wires are going to my Pico scope channel. AWG, which is a signal generator channel. So now I'm going to turn on the Go Diag box. Now, this you can get for 100 or 200 on Amazon. This is about 100 or 200 on Amazon. A lot less than high dollar engineering boxes that cost thousands to do the same thing. All right, so now the cluster is on. We're at zero miles an hour. On my laptop, I have PicoScope 6, which I've downloaded for free from PicoScope. At this point, I've got uh, this box here, signal generator, and I open it up. It's preset to wherever it was last, but I'll put it at like 400 hertz. It's a sine wave and two volts. Turn it on. Okay, that's what is coming out of that picoscope. And now I have a speedometer operation. And if I increase to 500 hertz from 400 goes up. Now I can go 501 hertz, but I'm just you know using this as an example. So at this point, the speedometer is okay. Now technically, I would have to do the math to make sure it's actually accurate, but I'm not going to do that.